would be the market to push back up uh, right into this area here, about uh, 328, uh, or uh, right around these these highs here. Now the key to this is that it's a very very fast move again. This this is a pure momentum trade. You should see the market move down very fast and then move up very fast. Uh, now that's going to depend on the time of the day, of course. So let's talk about that. I only look for these these types of trades at very specific times. Okay, it can happen as early as 2 a.m. Eastern time, but really between 3 and 4 uh, and as late as 5. Okay, this uh, this depends. These two times depend on the status of daylight savings. Okay, so it, it's not that we have uh, a three-hour range all the time. It just depends on daylight savings uh, for London time. So this is the London Open. And then around the New York Open, uh, between 9 and 10 a.m. Eastern time, this is the New York Open and options expiration. And then between 11 and 11:30. Eastern time, which is the London close. This is where the, the the London traders are starting to go home, and where they can push the market around uh, to square up their positions. Some of the the, tr the day trades that they have on, uh, and get ready to to just head to the pub for the night. So very specific times of the day where I look for this one particular trade. You can see it's forming up here. Uh, the market does look like it's it's wanting to break down to the upside. A couple of things that you've got to keep in mind for this particular trade. When you see wide range bars like this and like this, you really have to wait to make sure that the momentum has dried up. Okay, this, this is not something where I would look to enter just as the market is spiking down and come back up if I see these big bars. Now, if the market is moving down quickly, but it's not moving down in huge bars, something like this, that's when I may just enter as the market comes down and contacts this price because momentum is, has started to slow down already. That's the key to understanding the sneak attack pattern is momentum. And you can simply measure the bars. In fact, uh, we can do that here. I'll do it very quickly with this. See, this bar is 42 pips and this bar is 47 pips. Let's take this bar here. Now, look at this. As I move it across, you can see that none of these bars really even comes close. There's one that came close. I mean, just look at this. As I compare this bar across, this this bar right here at the top is the only one that comes close, but that's the bar that spiked up and eventually the market turned from there. But prior to that, so we've got one bar that even comes close to this one here. That's what I mean by momentum. Okay, so you just have to watch out for that. And uh, when you see it, wait for some kind of confirmation point here at the bottom.